Clouds have always been signs of the weather to come. For example, scattered white cumulus clusters promise a dry summer afternoon, massive dark thunderheads tell of crop damaging wind and rain, and a high sheet of see-through wisps signals a change in the weather tomorrow or the next day. However, clouds' most important roles in climate are to modulate Earth's basic radiation balance and to produce precipitation. The law of conservation of energy requires that the energy absorbed by the Earth from the sun balance the energy radiated by the Earth back into space. Clouds both reflect incoming sunlight and inhibit the radiation of heat radiation from the surface, thereby affecting both sides of the global energy balance equation. Clouds also produce precipitation from water vapor, releasing heat into the atmosphere in the process. Evaporation of water vapor from the surface cools it so that these two processes serve to transfer heat from the surface to the atmosphere. Thus, any changes in clouds will modify the radiative energy balance and water exchanges that determine the climate. Clouds also affect the climate by both cooling and heating the planet. The cooling effect is literally visible. The minute water or ice particles in clouds reflect between 30 and 60% of the sunlight that strikes them, giving them their bright white appearance. A cloudless earth would absorb nearly 20% more heat from the sun than the present earth does. To be in radiation balance, earth would have to be warmer by about 12 degrees Celsius. Thus, clouds can cool the surface by reflecting sunlight back into space, much as they chill a summer's day at the beach. The cooling effect of clouds is partly offset, however, by a blanketing effect. Cooler clouds reduce the amount of heat that radiates into space by absorbing the heat radiating from the surface and re-radiating some of it back down. The process traps heat like a blanket and slows the rate at which the surface can cool by radiation. The blanketing effect warms Earth's surface by some 7 degrees Celsius. Thus, clouds can heat the surface by inhibiting radiative heat loss, much as they warm a winter's night. One can calculate that a higher surface temperature would result from the buildup of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere and the consequent slowing of heat radiation from the surface, provided nothing else changes. To recap, here are ways in which clouds affect the climate system. Clouds cool Earth's surface by reflecting incoming sunlight. Clouds warm Earth's surface by absorbing heat emitted from the surface and re-radiating it back down toward the surface. Clouds warm or cool Earth's atmosphere by absorbing heat emitted from the surface and radiating it into space. And clouds warm and dry Earth's atmosphere and supply water to the surface by forming precipitation.